Even. Kind of late for deliveries, isn't it? You know, I don't think I have anything scheduled. Where do you say you're from? Uh, look under Smith. Smith? Oh, Smith Laboratory. No, Smith and Wesson. <laughs> no, no, you don't. Yes, sir. I just dropped my clipboard on the button, sir. I'm sorry. Robertson? Yeah? You know the alarm company is going to send the cops by. He's going to be the one to tell them what happened. Leave it to me. I'm sorry. You do that. Just be careful next time. Clean this mess up. This is a complete oversimplification of the facts. Yeah, well, that's why it works. Shareholders don't need to know all the tedious details. I thought they were supposed to have full disclosure so they knew exactly what we're up to. You are so missing the big picture here. What they really want to see are results and cash flow projections. They could seriously care less about DNA tracking and cellular reconstruction. I'm getting hungry. Want to order some Chinese or something? It's 1.30 in the morning. Don't you ever get tired? No. Ooh, don't slow down on me now, Parker. We've still got a lot of work to do before Thursday. This is the most important stockholders meeting of the year. <laughs> Possibly the century. Certainly the biggest this company's ever had. And it ain't gonna just happen by itself. We are talking a huge media event here. Don't remind me. You really don't want any part of this, do you? No, I don't. You know what I think? I think we've had an amazing breakthrough and you've turned this into a three-ring circus. Oh. Well, like it or not, you've been assigned to help me put this together. Yeah, the creation of that thing downstairs. That thing? That thing is a miracle. It's a living, breathing example of your genius. That's not my doing. That's Calgoran playing God. Let me ask you something. Was this whole creation your idea, too? It dramatically demonstrates the Eden formula potential. Oh, that's great. You may have pulled us all into a very reckless venture. Officer Patterson here. I'm on 78th Street, headed toward the district now. Aren't you off duty, Patterson? I just dropped off my partner and I'm headed back to the station. We received a silent alarm from the dock over at uh, Calgoran Industries. They're located at 2918 Sanborn Street. Look, it just started and abruptly went off. Probably a false alarm, but you better check it out. I'm on my way.
All present and accounted for, Mr. Radcliffe. Very good, Carl. Rebecca, status report. All telephone lines, cables, and alarms have been cut. Excellent. Jose. Wireless calls will not be possible from this location. What about security? Two more security posts on this level has been neutralized. The last one, Station 1, is located in the East Wing. We take it next. What about the upper levels? Sealed. We control this floor. Anybody upstairs or downstairs? They gotta come past us. Elevators ain't an option. All right, we're gonna use this. Security station is our main base of operations. Rock off, Lassiter, Tanya, go get our guests in the box. And what if she don't want to come? Then we'll persuade her. Smithers, I want you to stay here at security post one. The rest of us go mop up whatever remains of the graveyard shift. There may be some people working in the labs. I want you to check the hallways. Don't forget the break rooms. Remember, boys and girls, nice and easy. Silent but deadly. Like a fart in church. What? When we get up to the executive level, find a safe, extract the formula and the research. And we blow this joint. Literally. Big Vicar, when we do find that safe, you will know what to do. After 15 years in biogenetics, I think I should know what I'm doing. But I ask for your resume. Just do the damn job. Rebecca, I leave the rest up to you, my darling. Not a problem. This is bullshit. I can pick the lock. But I can open them all from here. <laughs> Impossible. Not really. All the doors, vaults, and safes in this place are tied to an interlocking system controlled by a central computer. But no one can access them without the codes. Not even Her Majesty. Oh, yes, I can. You go, girl. Done. All the security codes are deleted and the locks are disabled. No way. Gimme. Bitch. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Excellent. All right, time out, you two. Enough of that. Let's move! In stockholders, you're going to see a living, breathing dinosaur. Proof positive that the Eden formula works. Why couldn't we have created something a little less lethal? Well, we could have. But it wouldn't have been as sexy. Oh, oh look. They've seen rats and sheep cloned. <laughs> the world media is going to go nuts for this. Stocks are going to go through the roof. And you're going to be that much closer to the top of the corporate ladder. What is the matter with that? How long has that light been flashing? That's a cage door light. Yeah. It's a malfunction, right? Where is it? It's not in its cage. Can't just lose a dinosaur. Call Howard. The line's dead. I'll call security. This line's dead, too. Where are you going? Wait! What? All the doors are open. Okay, so what are you saying? That means all the security locks in the whole building have been opened. Is that even possible? Damn it, where are you going now? The vault's open. What's happening? You got your cell? Yeah. Call them well. I don't have service. What are you doing? Just taking precautions. I'm not saying we're being burglarized, but all the security locks are open. None of the phones work. I feel a lot safer if we hit the formula. You think we're being robbed? I don't think it's a power failure.
bags? I think there's some more in the break room. Good, we're gonna need them. You wanna get them? You okay? Yeah, no, yeah, I'm fine. I'm no, fine. fine. I'll go with you. Good idea. Let's hide these. Nothing but static. All of my lines are dead. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Charles can go to post three, see if they're having problems there. Webb, go to the executive levels. Maybe the phones are working. I'm on it. He's been shot. No shit, Sherlock. Very good, people. We're a little bit ahead of schedule. Damn. Oh, look at that, cuz. I say he could almost be your brother. You know what they say. We all look alike. Amen. All right, people! Let's bring in our guests and let the fireworks begin. Tanya, let's take off her gag. Good evening, Miss Weavers. Who are you people? What do you want with me? Look around you, Miss Weavers. I can't get away, Linda. I mean, you are in the belly of the beast, so to speak. Why'd you bring me here? Oh, I don't know. Coffee, tea, civility. I mean, I figured a woman like you would appreciate the delicious irony of what's about to transpire tonight. But you, you recognize this rather large device, don't you? <laughs> oh. Thermite bomb. I'm guessing 2,500 pound capacity. You're holding a 735 Hansen detonator. Brilliant. And I assume a woman of your intuition and political affiliation is gonna figure out what happens next. You're gonna level this complex. No, 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 no. I wouldn't do that. But when you and your dead body are discovered near Ground Zero... And no clone will be blamed. Kalgoran Industries is an abomination and should be dismantled. But these are not our methods. No, it doesn't matter. Because, see, there's not gonna be any trace of me or my people evident. On the other hand, you and your little radical organization is on record for hating the work that goes on here. So why not kill me now and plant my body afterwards? Well, that's an interesting concept. But you know, forensics being what they are, timing is everything. But rest assured, when the time comes, we'll do whatever's necessary. Why are you telling me all this now? Well, it's a wee bit awkward, but you know, I kind of needed some of your friendly cooperation in order to tie you and no clone to the scene. You will get nothing from me. Oh, but I already have. <laughs> We're gonna put this on a loop and give it to old man Calgarin so that by the time the big boom occurs, he'll know the rest of the story. Oh, you son of a bitch. Beg your pardon? What did she call me? I think she called you a son of a bitch. Okay. Nice shot, you got that slug in there. Does that hurt? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, but you know what? A knife wound would be much more painful. Remember when I told you about forensics is everything? Well, with that guard slug in your shoulder, you're definitely tied to this location. Tanya, put a fresh piece of tape on this bitch's mouth and throw it behind the counter. All right, people. Phase two, rock and roll. It's time to hit the labs. And I don't want any witnesses. I'm gonna kill everybody you see. I guess that's why they call it the graveyard shift, eh?
Yes, officer, may I help you? Hi, Officer Patterson, 5th Precinct. We received a distress call from the Sanborn Avenue loading platform. Is everything okay here? Yeah, everything's fine. That thing went off again. 104 this morning. Is that a common occurrence? Unfortunately, yes. Mind if I take a look around? Not at all. Come on in. It must be a short in the system. The system's always sending out false alarms. <laughs> Alarm guys are here uh, to fix it on Tuesday. Didn't do a very good job, huh? I guess not. There's a huge five-ton truck parked outside. Yeah, that's been since 3.30 yesterday. Must be a big shipment going out this morning. I see. This is Alex, come in. Hello? Uh, look, uh, I don't know if anybody can hear me, but uh, I'm out on the east side of the main lab and I just found a big pile of, well, I don't want to say what I think it's a pile of, but it, it smells like a sewer backed up down here. Uh, this is a big cleanup, uh, more than I can handle. Hello? Hello? I'm gonna need a bigger bucket. Well, you can't find anything out of place here. That's good. You are going to report that alarm. Won't be the first time. So, Mr. Webb, what's the S stand for? What? Your name? S. Webb? Oh, my name. Sam. Samson, actually. Samson Webb. Samson. That's pretty unique, isn't it? I like to think so. You have a good night, Samson. You two officers drive safe out there. This one's down. We're just getting ready to leave. Hmm. Well, how about I escort you out and make sure you're okay? Yeah. One Adam Niner to dispatch, over. Dispatch, this is one Adam Niner, over. Yeah, Patterson here. I checked out the alarm at Cal Gorin. Everything seems okay, but I'm a little concerned. This is Sergeant Atkins. What's the problem? No problem, really. The night guard said the alarm was malfunctioning. I checked the premises and everything seemed okay. But something just didn't feel right. You dealing in feelings now, Patterson? Call it a hunch, sir. But during my conversation with the guard, it's like he couldn't even remember his own first name. Maybe it's a crush, Patterson. You seem to have that effect on a lot of people. Look. Why don't you go home? Get some rest. You're going on 12 hours. With all due respect, sir, I'm going to go grab a bite to eat and drive by the area later. See if there are any further disturbances. That's up to you, Patterson. If you need any help, call in. Over and out.
Okay, team. Down this way. Yeah, right through here. Yes. Come to daddy. It's not here. What? What do you mean it's not there? Somebody must have taken it. There's no formula, there's no research, nothing. You think there's another safe on this level? Not according to the blueprints. Who could have taken it? <sighs> Fucking resume. How'd you know these stairs were even here? I used to use them a couple years ago, coming up from the motor pool before they put the new elevators in. It's been the last one to use them. Freeze! Well, well, well. What do we have here? A dime store cop and a couple of suits. Isn't it past your bedtime? Is he dead? He's dead. How's your hand? Oh, I'm okay. It stings a little, but I figure I can still change my oil. Jeez. You cleaned his clock. How'd you manage that? Just lucky. Found to grab that radio. Nothing but quarterly reports, financial statements, and a bunch of boring company crap. <sighs> Something shaky around here. That's enough! Get out! All right, specialists, follow me. There it is. What's in here? The office of Dr. Harrison Parker. Venture in formula. Calvin Industries golden haired boy. Coffee's still warm. This son of a bitch is in the building. Let's find him. shits to stay the hell out of here!
my God. Oh, what'd they do oh. to you? Oh, son of a bitch shot me. Get something to tie your arm off. Stop that bleeding. Oh. How many of them are there? Oh, like seven of them led by this guy named Radcliffe. Oh. James Radcliffe? I didn't catch his first name. He's a big bastard, though. He likes to shoot girls. That's James. Oh, I take it you know this charmer. Yeah, I know. I heard he got into industrial espionage. Yeah, on steroids. We gotta get out of here. Can you walk? Oh, not that well. Oh. Oh. Shouldn't we do something about this? What is it? It's a really big bomb. Big enough to blow up this entire city block. Who's got the detonator? Your little friend does. Somewhere. How do you know this Parker guy? We were in Desert Storm together. I thought he was this genius scientist. Military scholarship put him through school. All right? Don't let the PhD fool you. He can be one mean ass son of a bitch if he has to be. What the hell happened here? Shh. Next we're gonna have business. We'll find out soon enough. to do. Pull yourself together. We're all on the same page. All right, let's go. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch! You do that. Smithers, come in. Right here, what's up? Coming down the emergency staircase. We reach at the East Squadron, exit 12. Copy that on my way. They're coming down the emergency stairs. What do we do? Does this place have a security locking system? Yeah, but I think they sprung it. Well, then let's unspring it. Oh, yeah. I see what they did. Oh, my God, you can do this? Just watch me. Hello? Hi, Mom. I don't think you should touch anything. Yo, this is Smithers. Come in. We got company in security post one. All right, we're on our way. Don't kill him. I want him alive. Damn, they know we're here. Grab a gun. How long before you get those doors locked? Hey, give me a few minutes. <laughs> uh, we gotta get her something for this pain. There's a first aid kit on the wall. I'll go grab it. Maybe not. No. No, Mom. Mom, it's all right. How are you doing on those locks? Almost there. Now would be a good time. Huh? I think this is it. Wow, I'm impressed. Now what? Open the damn door! I can't. They reintegrated the locking system. Shh. Do what you gotta do. I gotta get in there. Somebody take this plate off. Okay. The only way through this door is to shut down the power and reboot the system. The locks then can be opened manually. I'm gonna need your help, Tanya. That's what I'm here for. Ingram, get me through that wall. Yes, Your Majesty. No, Mom. We'll get the cake on Sunday. Don't worry. Please. I'll be on time. <laughs> Go to your 
right? Easy for you to say, girlfriend. Good. There's a, a junction box right under your foot. Can you reach down and unplug the yellow cable? Yeah, I think so. What's with the light change? Oh. Oh, they're rerouting the power. I'm trying to open the locks. Okay, my turn. Is this gonna work, your highness? We'll know in a sec. Hello? Samson. They want to feed the, um... The... The what? What is the nature of your call, ma'am? There's been a break-in, and people have been killed, and there's there's a Tyrannosaurus Rex that's a... Pardon me? I don't think I got that last part. I know it sounds crazy, but there's a giant T-Rex loose in the city. Placing a prank call to the 911 service line is a misdemeanor, and it's punishable by two years of the state penitentiary. I promise you, this isn't a prank. I just saw a police woman get eaten by a dinosaur, for God's sake! Uh, you crazy bitch! Shit! Hey, 
pain. You know, nothing ever goes on around here. I used to live in New York City. That was years ago. Now there's a town. You know what they say? The city that never sleeps. They're right. There was always something to do. All night pizzerias, bingo parlors. It was a blast. Not like this Fakakta town. Hell, everything closes at eight around here. Nothing to do. Nothing ever goes on around here. Possess. I always be twice as soldier you ever were, Lieutenant. That's doctor now. I can see you've been busy. Tell me, doctor, are you in the dinosaur business these days? <laughs> me personally, no. <laughs> Matter of fact, nobody was supposed to know about any of this until the stockholders meeting next Thursday, but some asshole decided to open the cage and let a man-eating machine loose. You genetically engineered a dinosaur using the Eden formula? Wasn't my idea. Wait a minute, you're telling me that you created a dinosaur in order to please a bunch of suits? It's a little more complicated than that. I try to explain it to you, but I believe it's over your head. <laughs> it's over my head. <clears throat> Let's keep this down to earth. I want the formula. What formula is that? Rhonda Shapton. Rhonda, it's after two o'clock in the morning. I know, sir, but something horrible's happened at the office. Okay, okay, just hold on, hold on. Honey, stay. It's okay, it's okay. Just go back to sleep. It's okay. Okay, Rhonda, take your time. What's this all about? Industrial supplies broke in looking for the formula. Did they take the formula? <laughs> Dr. Parker and I hit it, but <laughs> they have a bomb. And sir, <laughs> they released the specimen. You, you, you don't mean the... Yes, loose and... Rex. <laughs> I saw it eat people. God, no. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Well, did you contact the police? Yeah, but they thought I was crazy. Okay, it's okay. Try to calm yourself. I need you sharp now, Rhonda. Yes, sir. Now, listen to me. This sponge tricky. No one can directly trace that creature to us. God only knows what kind of damage it'll cause. What? We cannot be held accountable. I can't believe you're saying this. Rhonda. You value the company's liability more than you do Dr. Parker's life? I'm not saying that I don't care what happens to him. He's a good man. You know as well as I do that uh, this sort of thing could cost us millions, hell, billions. Oh, fuck that. The company is responsible. Be careful, Rhonda. Don't throw your future away. Now think about your loyalties. You can't go against me on this. Go to hell, Mr. Calcoin.
<laughs> Good evening, Kate. See so your fighting skills haven't faltered. Draco, I should have known you were behind this. Sending your minions in to test the waters. Ah, yes. The waters. Looks like they all drowned in the water. But I... I'm a much better swimmer. Careful swimmer. The waters at this end of the pool may be too deep for you. I'm not scared of getting a little wet. There may be hidden dangers lurking below. <laughs> Nonsense. A great swimmer like me isn't frightened of a little fish like you. What if the little fish was a piranha? Piranha? Well... Piranha. Fight me. Careful. You'll make me mad. Stop! Cut! Jesus Christ! That's a cut! That's a cut! The line. You blew the goddamn line. We gotta go back to one. Oh, Jesus! We gotta do the whole thing? What do you want me to say? Princess here said the line wrong. What is the line? You said, careful, you'll make me mad. It should be, careful, you'll make me sore. What's the big difference? Sore and mad, they mean the same thing. But, but sore sounds better. It, it, it flows more trippingly off the tongue. I mean, mad, it's, it's, it's dumb. It's pedestrian. I, I didn't write mad, I wrote sore. And I wrote it for a good reason, God damn it! No offense, but if sore flowed more trippingly off the tongue, I would have said sore. <sighs> Connie, can you come here for a minute? Sore, Matt, is there really a difference? Oh, just say the frickin' line! Okay. Thank you. Now once Miss Lau has her line down, we'll go back to one. Oh, Jesus, we have to go back to one? He's right, you know, you're never gonna play this all in one. And you'll need to get coverage. Yeah, well, you'll need my close-ups at least. And you'll need to get a close-up on Kate. All right, all right, fine. So what do we do now? Do a pickup. Yeah, that's right, pickup. We're gonna, we're gonna do a pickup. That's a pickup. Pick up. Pick up. That's a pickup. That's a pickup. That's a pickup. Pick up. From where? <sighs> what about Draco's last line, bite me? Yeah. Right, um, bite me. Good, okay. Um, well, piranha, bite me. Careful, you'll make me mad. Careful, you'll make me mad. Uh, honey, honey, it's, you'll make me sore. Okay, I got it. Careful, you'll make me sore. Careful, you'll make me... <laughs> No princess, not dinosaur, soar. No! Dinosaur! Oh, shit! 911 ah! emergency line, can I direct your call? Yes, this is Rhonda Shapton. I'd like to report a break-in at Calgorn Industries. Can you give me the address? Yes, it's... Uh, 2918 Sanborn Street, downtown LA. And are you calling from that address now? No, I, I'm in a car on my cell phone. To your knowledge, has anything been taken from the premises? Well, something's escaped, actually. I'm sorry? Okay, listen. Calgorn is involved in DNA research, and they've, they've developed a means to genetically engineer living organisms. Yeah? And they have. Look, I'm not following you here. There's a giant man-eating dinosaur that is loose in this city. Very funny, Mrs. Spielberg. Don't call back. Please, please don't hang up. I am serious. There are people in danger here. And I assure you, 
Dinosaurs are extinct. They are not a danger to anyone. Stack is a city block wide. Hard copy, disc, sample in a glass vial. This is getting really old. Damn it! What? 30 minutes ago, Carl, Tanya, and Smithers were still alive. A dinosaur, McVicker. They were killed by a goddamn dinosaur. I know. So what are we still doing here, huh? Searching for a formula that creates dinosaurs? That formula is an amazing breakthrough. This stuff is so revolutionary. Nobody's ever approached DNA tracking and genetic reconstitution on that level before. You're really into this shit, aren't you? That Parker guy's a goddamn genius. You never had a girlfriend, did you? I'm gay. Please come in. Nothing. We looked everywhere again. We decide. You're wasting your time. Well, you'll talk. I've been chained to this lab for the better part of five years. And they prostituted and misused all my work. If you think I'm gonna hand over my blood, sweat, and tears to you or anybody else, you're out of your mind. Always the spoiler. You never were a team player. Maybe not. But I'm not the one who got tossed out of the military. Thanks to your testimony. I saved lives. You know, why don't we just shoot this piece of crap? No. We're gonna complete the mission. We will find the research and the formula. Won't we, Parker? You're dreaming. Somebody tried to disarm it recently. Whoever it was failed miserably. Pyrotechnology's never been one of my strong suits. Don't I know it? Disarm to safeties. What now? Do it! say that thermite burns so hard it can melt 
that steel. This whole building, the entire city block reduced to charred ashes in a matter of mere seconds. I want the fucking formula. In all these years, you haven't changed a bit, have you, Radcliffe? You're still a dick. No, sir. The whole time you were upstairs with him in the office, you didn't see where he hid it. Like I told you, he was in his office with the woman. Nobody had anything. Where's <laughs> office apart? Well, you obviously missed something. We gotta go back upstairs. What about these two? Fuck them. Where the hell are they gonna go? Jesus, I thought you were down for the count. Wrap that hand up, you're bleeding like a stuffed pig. I've had worse. Shall I leave the car here? At all. We will not go back empty handed. We've checked everywhere. No secret saves, no hidden compartments. All right, then you gotta look somewhere else. I want you to check every office, every closet space, every break room on this floor. He's resourceful. He's gonna hide it somewhere where you wouldn't even think of looking. So that's it? That's what everybody's been looking for? That's it. The hell are you doing? Life's a bitch, ain't it? You're one of them. For the last three months now, I fed him information, gave him blueprints. And they tried to kill you? Well, not all of them knew. What now? We wait. Radcliffe's people will be here soon enough. He had all his plan. <laughs> not really. <laughs> when you tackled me outside your office, you almost slit my throat. So I figured I'd play along and see what you were up to. When I saw you take out that guy on the stairs, I could tell you were pretty damn formidable. So I watched, listened, bided my time. How much did they pay you? Oh, loads of 
of him. Anything? Not yet. We're still looking. Then try the labs. Again. Yes, sir. This is bullshit. This is all getting personal for Radcliffe. I don't like this. Did, did you know? Parker is one of the biggest reasons he took on this assignment. He wanted to screw with him, steal his life's work, destroy all the evidence. Ah, oh, jeez, and you think that 10 million would be enough? Well, the cash was an incentive, no doubt. But you saw his rage, his passion. Best that you work, kind of. Come on, guys. We're supposed to be looking for the formula. Oh, yeah, where haven't we looked? Only recover the sample. How many places can they hide a teeny glass vial? It would have to be kept in a cool place. The air conditioning system. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's got to be 600 miles of ducting in this goddamn place. Let's we'll start on the roof. He's like a big kid. Wait a sec. You know, no matter how this mission ends up, when this is all over, we're gonna have to lay low for a while. What's your point? Well, my point is, you and me, South America, lots of sex. Hmm. What do you say, Your Majesty? the time nor the place to get into this, but I'll clue you in anyway. You are a loathsome freak, and I despise every bit of you. You're both scum that I have to be careful not to step into. Touch me again, and you lose a testicle. Hey, guys. What? Does somebody smell smoke? I do. Gone. Burned up. Ruined. Parker. This one would be on you. Evening, Mr. Radcliffe. Well done, Zack. Hey, no, 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 Riley's been our inside man for what, three months now? <laughs> what, this bus? Yep. <coughs> no, hey, hey, that's for downstairs. <laughs>
freaking college graduate and I can't turn on a fucking radio. All units in the vicinity of Rosemead and Douglas, there's been more prank calls. This time from the hotbox club on Rosemead. Seems they saw a dinosaur too. Copy that. for you. <laughs> I say we can still settle for half. Look, old man Winston was scared because he thought his company was going down the tubes, right? So all we gotta do is let the bomb do its job. Parker dies, nobody gets the formula, and Winston eliminates the competition. Simple. You think Winston will go for that? We don't give him a choice. What do you think, Mr. Radcliffe? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just wondering, when did I die, and who made you boss? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, with all due respect, sir, I believe we've reached a point of diminishing returns. Look, son, I know you're frustrated. However, that being said, a commitment is a commitment, and we will see this mission through. What? I mean, don't you know that this is over? The mission is a bust. The guy has destroyed everything. He second-guessed every one of our fucking moves, all right? You know, that's our bad. We should have been smarter. <laughs> Oh, and then, you know, there's the little issue regarding a fucking dinosaur that has eaten half the goddamn crew! <laughs> hey, you know, shit happens. Best laid plans and all that crap. I say we cut our losses. And we blow this joint. Where do you think you're going? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I was thinking maybe, um, hmm, Florida? And when you come to your senses and you blow this place up, you can wire my money to my bank account I'm out of here. Don't take another step. I will not tolerate insubordination. <laughs> Are you gonna, you gonna shoot me? Should I? Should I shoot you? Should I blow your brains out over the floor? Hmm? Or would that simply be a waste of my precious ammo? Come on, sir, I'm, I meant no disrespect. I, I just thought... Thought? You thought? A good soldier doesn't think. A good soldier follows orders. I think you could use some serious discipline. You motherfucker! Like learning to listen to your commanding officer and following orders. Otherwise, you get hurt. But don't worry. What's the matter, little boy? You running a wall? Huh? Huh? when a good soldier goes bad. <laughs> Crazy fucking Andrew Marie. <laughs> oh. 
fucking kick my ass. <coughs> Dude, oh, <yeah. laughs> what the ball, you bitch. <coughs> yeah. Come. Come on. <coughs> <coughs> Rebecca, escort our guest over to the young lady. When you get close enough, kill her. Uh, they, they just want to talk. Don't shoot. I don't have a gun! Damn, it's gonna be easy.
Hey, look your love life, asshole! giant dinosaur wasn't a great idea. I was thinking maybe next time, the giant ape. Did you ever consider a career in motion pictures? Yeah. Too much pressure. Thank <laughs> you. 